It's official. We are in the home stretch of my favorite business habits. So stick around. I got seven more. Hey guys, I'm Kimberly Polita and I help people just like you with ridiculously ambitious goals and dreams level up their habits to become doers. And like I just mentioned, we're in the home stretch. We only have seven more business habits to cover and some of these are really gonna hit home for some of you. So let's jump in to the first habit of today and it is being grateful. What a great thing to talk about, especially right after Thanksgiving. A lot of people are super, super grateful and thankful the things that they have on Thanksgiving Day and then they just don't do anything else the rest of the year. So something that I really want you guys to put into place is a way for you to document the things that you are grateful for every single day. Now, I know some of you might say, I really don't have a lot to be grateful for. The people who normally say that are having a sense of failure in life, in business. Now, I really want you guys to remove that word from your vocabulary, failure. There is no failure. There's only results. You did something, it didn't work, and now you know that it didn't work and you can try something different, right? You did something and you got a result. So that's one thing that I want you guys to think about. So be grateful for the failures in your life because they are getting you one step closer to something that does work. Number two is really kind of obvious. It is respect others. You guys, just be kind. Be considerate of the people around you. The old adage, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. They even say it takes more energy and more effort to be mean, so just be kind, respect others. Number three is improve your skills. Learning does not have to stop after high school or college. You have to hone in on the skills that you want to get better at. What can you do to learn more? One of the things that I personally love is I submerse myself into different Facebook groups of like-minded people, specifically entrepreneurial women. I'm in three different masterminds and they are extremely high level and I love to surround myself with people who are smarter than me because if I am the smartest person in the room, I am in the wrong room. So being in these groups, I am definitely at the bottom level. So what that means is these women are going to pour into me and raise me up. So find a way to learn something new, hone your skills for your business or for yourself to raise you to the next level. Number four is to plan. And you guys know the saying, planner's gonna plan. Well, those who are hardcore with their business and have their sights set on being successful, they plan obsessively. So if you do not have a plan of where you want your business to go, I highly encourage you to sit down and make a plan for the next year. Yes, for the entire next year. Where do you wanna go? And if you're tracking and analyzing, like I mentioned in a previous episode, it's gonna be so much easier to make a shift if something is not going as planned on your master plan. Number five is be mindful. Now, this isn't just about being respectful towards others, it's also respecting yourself, the world around you, the environment, but really respecting and being mindful of how you are treating yourself. Don't do things that would be deemed illegal, right? Like lying, cheating, stealing, those are just obvious things, but really being mindful about how you are operating your business. As long as you are mindful, if your reputation isn't where you want it to be, it will slowly improve over time. So just be mindful. Number six is do something you love. Do something you love. We are so consumed and wrapped up in our businesses, in our families, in our careers, that we are focused so much on these goals that we forget to pour into ourselves. Women, especially. And so I take self-care Sundays, self-care Saturday, those weekend days, I take those days very, very seriously to do something for myself. Now, specifically, health and wellness seems to be the one that kind of falls to the wayside for a lot of female entrepreneurs. Do something you love every single day. Number seven, my last tip for today, and I feel it's the most important, is ask for help. We don't have all the answers. None of us do. So it is so important to push our ego to the side and ask people who have gone before us for help. People crash and burn all the time, but it's those successful people who know to get up 
and ask for support and ask for help, I know all too well that it is really difficult, like I said, to push our ego to the side and ask for help. Now, often we get to that point way too late. We have already hit rock bottom. We decide, you know what, I'm gonna go and ask for help. So don't get to that point. If you're starting to struggle, realize it, notice it, and ask for help then. We shouldn't be waiting until that last minute to ask for help. Asking for help should be something that is commonplace in our everyday practice. So you guys, that is it. We have gone through 28 of my favorite business habits. So if you loved this, please make sure you let me know down below in the comments. Make sure you subscribe. And if you got value out of this and you thought someone else would benefit from it, please make sure you share it with them. And I will see you guys next month with a whole new topic. See you later.